Historic Preservation Commission to order. Welcome uh, to this uh, July meeting of the Village of Pinehurst Historic Preservation Commission. The purpose of the commission is to decide applications for certificates of appropriateness for new construction or major work within the Pinehurst Historic District, and to do so by conducting hearings and making findings of fact when such applications come before us. By law, the commission is directed to take no action except to prevent construction or alterations that would be incongruous with the special character of the historic district. I'm Eric von Sauls and the chairman of the commission. I ask each commissioner, starting from my far left, to state his or her name for the record. John Taylor. Thomas Schroeder. David Herring. Terry Lurch. Uh, we have uh, two members absent, but we have a quorum so we can proceed. Uh, we also have our staff present, uh, Alex Cameron and uh, uh, Alexandria Rye and Shannon uh, Constantinou. I'll get it right next time. Uh, our first order of business is to review and approve the minutes of our last meeting. All commissioners have been provided with copies of the draft minutes. Does any commissioner have any changes to suggest? In that case, may uh, I have? Yeah, oh, yes. Did. Sorry. Not fast enough. Page two of five, very last paragraph. Um, Alex. Uh, Mr. Cameron stated the commission does not have the authority to deny work based on congruity and so forth. I think it might be helpful to make it clear under what conditions we don't have the, uh, the authority to do my work based on congruity. And that would be I think he's looking for the. Where's the passenger? Uh, last paragraph, page two. Uh, I think we can. The minutes could be amended to state that the commission um, would not have the authority to deny work based on congruity with the adopted standards if they run afoul of other code requirements such as North Carolina, well, life and safety code requirements. Unless if there are solutions. Because that's what we were discussing at that particular moment. There are solutions which, if there are other solutions that other than the one um, submitted by, the, by an applicant that would comply with the codes and standards, we could therefore deny it because their particular solution is incongruous, right? Again, we're, we're, we're discussing minutes from a meeting we've already had, so I don't know about rehashing a, a discussion that was previously had at a meeting. And, you know, it, what we were doing at that time, we were discussing what authority the commission had on reviewing and issuing certificates of appropriateness related to certain code requirements other code requirements. So if, in fact, you know, there was only, this is the only way that someone were to be able to meet a life safety code and, you know, whether or not it has to be painted black, painted white is, aside from the fact that to be able to have that accessibility for their, you know, for whatever proposal it would be, that was the intent of what we were discussing. Thank so you. if we can paraphrase that. Uh, maybe shorten, condense it a little bit. <laughs> you know, you could say, really, you could say Mr. Heron and Mr. Cameron had discussions relative to what authority the the HBC has on issuing COAs as it relates to uh, other life safety code requirements. Uh, to me. So, oh, any other comments? Uh, do I have a motion to special meeting? So moved. 
Second. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Comments on the regular meeting of last month. Motion to accept as submitted. Second. Second from Terry. Second. Oh, from okay. David. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opted. Um, all right. And we may I now have a motion to enter the public hearing. So moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. Uh, we are now in the public hearing. This is a quasi-judicial hearing. That means that anyone desiring to testify must be sworn in, and the commission is required to consider only facts presented in this hearing. The proceedings are video recorded. I ask the commissioners if they have visited any of the sites on our docket today and whether they have had any ex parte communications with respect to any of the cases we'll be considering today. I visited all of the sites, no ex parte communications. I visited all the sites, no ex parte communication. I visited all the sites uh, and no ex parte communications. I sadly visited none of the sites. <laughs> I visited all the sites and I did have conversation because my packet was not in, was incomplete and I needed to understand what was going on. So I talked to the owner. Pardon? Who did you speak to? The owner. I said I talked to the owner. Which property? Laurel. 35 Laurel. Right, Laurel, okay. Uh, I did not have any information except the cover sheet in my packet. I had double from another one. So the, the owner explained to you what the nature of the work was that they were planning to... Uh, exactly. Um, Uh, in each case that the Commission will hear this afternoon, staff will first present a summary of the application. The staff's evaluation of the extent to which the application complies with the Commission's standards for such or raises issues that require further information. The staff's comments on the application and, where appropriate, the staff's recommendations for Commission action will also be presented. Uh, the applicant the application and its supporting documents, as well as the staff's detailed report, will then be entered into the record. Commissioners will then have an opportunity to question staff about the report and testimony. Next, the applicant or the applicant's representatives will have an opportunity to provide any additional information supporting the application and to address any questions or issues identified in staff's testimony. Commissioners will then have an opportunity to question the applicant witnesses. After the applicant's presentation, if any member of the public wishes to present any evidence either in support of or in opposition to the application, please come forward at that time and identify yourself. I will swear you in and give you an opportunity to present any reasons why you believe the application should be granted or denied. Please remember the Commission is interested in facts that will help us decide whether the proposed work would be congruous with the special character of the Pinehurst Historic District. As chair, I have the right to exclude testimony that isn't relevant to that subject, but I'm not required to do so. Commissioners will then have an opportunity to question you about your testimony. If the applicant or staff wishes to respond to your testimony, I will permit them to do so. Uh, before proceeding to our first case, two administrative matters. Uh, one is that on the uh, docket uh, that's uh, been published and, uh, uh, and circulated, uh, the case uh, which was previously noted as C involving 87 Short Road is going to be moved to the end of uh, the docket today. Secondly, uh, I want to say a few words about terminology that will be used during this uh, hearing for the benefit of the public. The Commission operates under a statute enacted by the State of North Carolina, which provides for guidelines regarding construction in historic district, districts. 
In accordance with that statute, about two and a half years ago, Pinehurst Village Council adopted guidelines for how this commission is supposed to apply the statute. Last year, the state legislature amended the statute and it changed the word guidelines to standards. That change went into effect on July 1st of this year. The Village Council plans to meet with the Commission about amending the guidelines to reflect the change to standards in the statute, but that meeting hasn't happened yet. During this hearing, we will refer to and apply the word guidelines. Uh, I believe that uh, guidelines and standards for our purposes means the same thing. Uh, and we will treat it so until and unless the Village Council uh, directs otherwise. All right, uh, we will now uh, proceed to our first case. Uh, nine, uh, involving 170 McCaskill Road West. Uh, are the applicants for that uh, matter here today? Would you like to come forward, sir? And uh, you will uh, raise your right hand. Uh, is the testimony uh, that you should give in, to the commission in this proceeding uh, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Do you state your name for the record and spell your last name? Dennis Dunnigan. 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 And thank you. You, you may be seated. All right, we'll proceed to the first case. Will uh, the staff members who are going to give evidence uh, in any proceeding uh, today uh, please raise your right hands uh, and state your names for the record. Alexandria Rye. Uh, swear or affirm that the testimony you should give in this, uh, in any of the cases today, uh, shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing. But. I do. Thank you. All right. Would you like to? Uh, Proceed to present uh, uh, COA 2021-00099. Yes, thank you. So for this case, the applicant is Dennis Dunnigan. The owner is Madeline Klingmeyer, and I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly, as shown on GIS, but I believe it was indicated that there is an update via the deed and that the ownership is um, now Dennis Dunnigan. The licensed professional is Dunnigan Builders. Property is located at 170 McCaskill Road, currently zoned R20. And we're gonna move right into the request for review by the applicant is to seek to replace an existing dormer and window with a larger dormer and window for the purposes of adding an elevator shaft. The proposed exterior material will match the existing material and these proposed changes are requested at 170 McCaskill Road. This is the map and of the public notice for the hearing letters. And this here are the plans. I'm gonna point out to you some of the changes. Um, on the bigger screen in the back, I do have a red laser. You can see those for those of you uh, who are looking at the screens at the bottom. There's a blue arrow that will show you. But this here is the dormer and the window that the applicant is seeking to replace with a very similar style dormer and windows in an effort just to make it more accommodating for the interior renovations. Notice that the material is to match what the existing material is and the roof as well. Sections of the guidelines that do apply to this are exterior walls and trim, windows and doors, additions and accessories, uh, accessory buildings, and you'll notice that each section is listed below the initial areas of the guidelines. At this time, staff would like to submit the following 
into the record. First and foremost is the notation that the address listed on the staff report is 170 McCaskill Road. There was an error, so I just want to make sure that that is on record. Otherwise, you do have the staff report, the presentation, the application, the applicant material, photos, site plans, and finding of facts. Uh, without objection, they shall be uh, admitted into the record. Uh, do you have any questions for Ms. Rye? I have I have one also. Um, the first at the bottom of page three additions section three point I point one. I didn't understand that there was any type of addition being made, rather a, a remodeling of an existing dormer. Uh, do I misunderstand that, or is there is there something actually being added other than a larger dormer? So with a replacement of an existing dormer, if the footprint were to match, it wouldn't be an addition. But because the dormer is larger, therefore it's considered an addition. Thank you. So I've got two questions. You mentioned that the record shows one owner and it may now have changed to a different owner? Yeah, so GIS is not co completely static with what the current ownership is. And I please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but the, the existing owner is the same as um, is what is listed. Did I, I may have messed that up when I met. So the owner on the application or, the, or yes. on your report is the correct owner? Correct. So Madeline is the correct owner? Yes, and I apologize right. if I... That's all right. The only other question I had is that most of the paperwork I've got shows it as 170 McCaskill Road West. I know that's a, de a kind of a, a detail, but is it is that actually, you mentioned it was 170 McCaskill Road. Is it actually, I believe it's McCaskill Road West. It is. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, any other questions? Um... Very well, uh, we'll proceed to uh, Mr. Townsend. And you've heard the staff presentation. Is there anything that you'd like to add in support of the application? No, I was just, the dormer, I, that dormer there, uh, yeah, okay, on the other, on the side off of the garage, got two dormers that look just like it. So, you know, it all matches in. Uh, on the photograph and the sketch that's uh, in front of us now at this time, the, the spacing on the, between the, the double door and the single door uh, on the drawing is uh, not the same as on the photograph, is it? There appears to be two doors on the photograph and only one door shown on that drawing. Okay. I guess that's a confusion that I had too. Uh, Are we eliminating a door? No. Yeah, oh, yes, we are eliminating. Yes, we are eliminating a door. Yeah. Been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> so part of this that, application yeah, is that door. That door goes down to the basement. I see. And now it's going to be a wall, and they go down and elevate it. I may have missed it, but I don't. I think I saw that in the application when I reviewed it. I did either. Removal of a door is a different, I didn't see that is in there. That was my confusion. I think it's the same as yours, that the drawing. Yeah. On, the, on the drawing, the, the door is eliminated. Right. We plan to eliminate the and door. And that is the door that's eliminated. It's on that picture. Uh, just so that we have a clear record, uh, uh, would you agree that you are amending your application uh, to uh, include the uh, elimination of that uh, door on that uh, frontage? Well, I filled it out and they accepted it and, uh, uh, you know, every, everything's on there. I don't know. This is way above my head, all this mess, so. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm an old country boy. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so am I. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. I spent my career as a lawyer, and the one thing I always learned is if I ever ran into an opposing lawyer who said he was a country boy, I had to watch out. They were always <laughs> smart <laughs> boys. That's right. That's right. Uh, but, uh, I just want Yeah, to, I mean, I, I, far as I, you know, I thought I had everything on there, and I, it looks like I do. I, I'm, I, I don't, and, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter for present purposes, for my purposes anyway, uh, whether... Uh, an error was made on the submission or the acceptance. The fact is, we just want the record to be clear that what you are asking for includes the elimination of that door. Yeah, right. That's right. Uh, Alexandria, does that uh, affect in any way the staff's uh, evaluation? It would only add a couple of guidelines out of the materials section, but it would the section and guidelines up that apply to the exterior materials for the dormer would also apply to this area as well. Uh, so, go ahead. Uh, I, I, are you uh, is is staff uh, prepared to proceed uh, with the case uh, uh, as amended? Uh, to remove that door, and would that change in any way staff's recommendations? It wouldn't change anything on behalf of staff. It is completely up to the board with the amended to move forward. All right. All right. Uh, so, may I? Uh, so, we're amending the documents, some part of the documents, to include removing the door, and just to be clear, between the double doors and the wooden doors with the three lights, the three windows over the top of it, there's another door which has a three by three window in it that we are removing and then we're putting back siding equal uh, to in color. Everything, everything on that is, is a match it, existing. It matched to what's there. Okay, so it matched the existing. So that door is going away. No, I've worked on this house. Okay, we just need to make sure that gets into the record that the applicant wants that. You want that modified to, to be able to do that. Is that correct? Sir? That's your intent. What did you ask me? You want to modify the application to allow you to remove that door yes, and, and yes. put this stuff in. Is that yes. correct? I'm not trying to. I just want to make sure I'm not putting words in your mouth. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. no okay. That's exactly what we want, what you see in there. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Hey, David. The water. Sounds to me like the drawing labeled proposed is what you're proposing, except that the door that is illustrated on the right side of that elevation shows a single light door, whereas in the photograph that door is multi-light. Are you making any changes to the existing door? Not to the, that, that, that door you see there is the door going into their house, uh, the one on the porch. That's that going into their house. No that changes. door there, that door there goes set of steps down to the basement. The door that is the entrance to the house is not being changed. No. Uh, any other questions? Uh, hearing none. Uh, as I said earlier, if there is any member of the public who wishes to present any evidence, either in support of or in opposition to the application, please come forward at this time and identify yourself. Uh, seeing none, uh, therefore, uh, there are no uh, further questions from the commissioners. Uh, the record in this case is closed, and the commissioners may deliberate. I'd like to make a motion. David? Please. Move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 170 McCaskill Road, west or no west? West. West. <coughs> Congress with the Pinehurst Historic District and consistent with the Historic District guidelines based on the testimony given, including the amendments made in this meeting. Um, the material submitted and the findings of fact. Is there a second? Second. Discussion. Are we ready for a vote? Uh, therefore, I'll poll the commissioners, starting from my far left. All in favor say aye. 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 And obviously, there are no nays. 
Mays. Uh, therefore, uh, that motion passes. I can make a motion. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission approve the certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 170 Haskell Road West. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. John? Aye. 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 Passes. Uh, you have your certificate of appropriateness. Congratulations. Thank you. Point of question there. If under the staff comments on this page, we could have had just one motion. Why didn't we do that? I don't know. Maybe because you didn't make the motion. Did you see that, David, under the staff comments? Apparently not. What did I it, it, it's a simplification of the process, and I'm, I'm all in favor of simplification. It says, you do everything you said, and the last sentence says, a certificate of appropriate is hereby granted. So that's all part of the same motion. I think some of us may not have uh, read the Pack it as carefully as you did, Terry. Good job, Terry. Okay. Well, okay. I, 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 what I do, Eric, is I, I respect the work that the staff has done. I look very carefully at their recommendations in, and their comments, and that's what I rely on. From, from memory, and I don't recall what it is, there was a reason why we had bifurcated into two approvals. I can't remember what it is. The way this reads, Terry, I would agree with you. It would appear that it could all be done as one, but I don't recall why it was ever bifurcated in the past. I, it was on a, a recommendation of uh, staff that we bifurcated into two, two things, and the actual reasoning for that, I have no and, recollection and, either. And, and, and I agree with Terry. If we can simplify some of this packet material, we are evolving some of the material. As you've noticed, there's been some minor changes even in the past couple of months, and we'll continue to work for it as we work through the material that we've been working under and recommendations we've been getting from, from the School of Government. You know, we're always evolving and trying to innovate, so we, you know, we, we'll We'll continue to look at it, but I don't think there's a problem if one motion is made to uh, act on a COA and adopt findings based on that motion. Um, however, it's up to the individual, you know, whoever's making the motion at the time. And we did prepare the cheat sheets, as we call them, to, to try to help guide you through that. By the way, I think these are very helpful. Thanks to Shannon on that. Thank you. All right, we'll proceed to uh, our next case. <laughs> Uh, which is a COA 2021-00100 uh, involving 15 Beulah Hill Road. Is the applicant here? Would you come forward, please? Uh, would you uh, both raise your right hands? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Would you each state your name and spell your last name for the record? I'm Margaret Ann Ellis, E-L-L-I-S, but I go by Meg Ann. I'm Michael Hess, spelled H-E-S-S. -S. Very well, you may be seated. Michael, you're representing uh, Michael's construction company, is that correct? Yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. All right, Alexandria. Thank you. So the applicant and owner, as you stated, is Margaret Ellis. Property is at 15 Beulah Hill Road, zoned R20. Here you'll find an outline of all the proposed changes that the applicant has brought forth, which are to include a front addition proposing to be located to the west of the front entrance. Addition, the addition facade is proposed to be brick painted white to match the exterior, the existing exterior. A continuation of the existing uh, dental molds, window styles, shutters to match existing features. They will be replacing six over six hung window uh, with a smaller decorative stained uh, leaded glass window. In addition of a five foot 28 inch awning window uh, to match an existing on the west side of the home. The roof of the addition is proposed to be a continuation of the existing roof and slope to match also with the material which is asphalt shingles. The height of the addition will be 15 feet, whereas the height of the house is 18. 
there will be no mechanical equipment. There will be new mechanical equipment installed to accommodate the proposed addition. And the drive and uh, at the drive and front wall, there's proposed to be uh, eliminate an existing curve driveway and replace it with a gravel parking pad. I'm going to. This is a map that will show you the area which properties were sent public notice or notice of hearing. And this here is some pictures I'm going to show you to kind of explain some of these changes that we're proposing. On the first one, you can see this is the existing. These two windows will be removed in order to accommodate that, ex that addition in which one window will be replaced. There's a small window here that they're proposing, and the way it is proposed is as a stained leaded window in order to accommodate privacy because that is a bathroom. Also notice the front here will match the existing material. You can see here the front way of the house. That wall and curb that we're talking about, that's right here. So there's some erosion issues that they're proposing a retaining wall. This one right here is going to be proposed to come down and inward and around to meet over by the garage, towards the garage. And the other here will be right as you come in. They're also proposing a decorative wall that would go right back here hardly visible from the road. The guidelines that would apply to this would be for roofing. You have section A1, 2, and 3, as well as A7, 8, 9, and 10. <coughs> we have exterior walls and trim, section B1, 2, B4, section, and windows and doors will also be applied, section C1, 2, C5, and 6. Sections 7, C7, C9, C10, and C12. Shutters and awnings would also apply to the new windows. That would be section E1 and 4. And the addition would be section 1, I1, I5, I6, I9, and I10. And as far as the utilities and mechanics go, we are looking at section J3. At this time, staff would like to submit the following into record. The staff report, presentation, application, applicants' materials, photos, site plans, and finding of facts. Without yeah. objection, the materials referred to by staff are admitted into the record. Do the commissioners have questions for staff? I had two, uh, one primarily for my own clarification, or on item three, say addition of a five foot by 28 inch awning window. When I first read this, I thought you were talking about an awning over the window, but an mm -hmm. awning window is a type of window? It goes out like this. That is correct. Okay. So it's a slanted window that goes out, usually utilized for uh, putting plants in it, decorative, um, and a lot of character. Excuse me. Isn't the addition that we're seeing on this application actually on the east side of the home? Because the garage is on the west side, as I see the map. South I thought it was north east. and south, but it's, it's <laughs> south it. facing east. Pardon? South side of the house facing, facing east. east. Yes. Outside here. And the garage is on the north side. North also facing, facing east. east. Right. South side. You can't see it from the road. Okay. Beulah Hill runs roughly north and south. I got it. Not okay. Exactly. But. And the second question: the was it the replacement of a window with a stained glass window that caused you to list this property and not consistent, nevertheless congruous? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for Beth? Uh, hearing none, uh, uh, do the uh, applicants have anything they would like to uh, add in support of the application? No. No. Uh, do any of the commissioners have questions of the applicants? I do. Yes. David? Um, on your uh, a little sketch of the garage, there is an, 
a proposed small wall with what appears to be an opening, not a gate, but that's already there. That's an existing wall. That's an already. existing wall. The wall that we're adding will actually um, come in perpendicular, perpendicular to the front of the house so that it distinguishes between the parking pad and the entry to the house. So the two walls that you're adding, uh, which you refer to as retaining walls, how high are they? I see uh, they're going to be less than three feet. Both of them? Yes. Okay. Uh, any other questions from commissioners? Uh, is there any member of the public that would like to be heard uh, with respect to this application? Seeing no volunteers. Uh, have no further questions of either the applicants or do. All right, one, one follow on. Mm -hmm. The windows that you're proposing, other than the stained glass window, will they match the existing windows? Yes. The awning window that we're putting on the south side yes. will not be visible from the road. And we also have one of those in the existing guest bedroom. Okay. So they, they, they will match. That's actually where my husband got the idea. And then it goes in his office. And then in the back addition, we're also going to do an awning window that will match the existing guest bedroom. Uh, any other questions from commissioners uh, of either the applicants or staff? Uh, hearing none, therefore, the uh, uh, evidentiary portion of this hearing is concluded, uh, and we can turn to deliberations. Uh, any discussion by members of the commission or any motions? I can do that. All right. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 15 Mueller Hill Road is inconsistent with the historic district guidelines. Nevertheless, is deemed congruous with the Pinehurst Historic District based on the testimony given, the material submitted, and the findings of fact. As the proposed changes appear to be com compatible to the existing windows as well as characteristics of the home and are com compatible to others within the historic district. Thank you. Uh, the motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we will proceed to a vote. I will call the commissioners. John? Aye. Aye. Eric? Aye. Aye. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 15 Beulah Hill Road. Second? Second. Discussion? Hearing none, we will proceed to a vote. John? Aye. Aye. Eric, aye. 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 Your application has been approved. Congratulations. You have you. your certificate. Thank you. Appropriateness. Thank you. Next case. OA 2021-00107 involving 35 Laurel Road is the uh, applicant present. Applicants, would you please come forward? Uh, uh, state your names for the record. Dorothy Black. Michael Black. And I suppose that's spelled in the usual way. M I C H A E L. <laughs> Although Dorothy is not, you're right. <laughs> uh, would you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. At the case on behalf of the commission. Yes, thank you. The owner and applicant are, is Dorothy Black. The property location is at 35 Laurel Road. It's zoned R10 residential. And the request this evening is the replacement of the roof with the same material but a different color, the enclosing an existing garage, replacing a door with a sliding, uh, with siding to match the existing siding. The replaced doors, one will be a replaced sliding glass door with a stained French door and a side entry door to be replaced that does match the, the stained door. There will also be replacing siding in the gable and paint 
uh, the existing brick. This is the map showing the properties that were notified of the hearing. And here you can see what the proposed changes are with the existing. We're looking at This door here is what is being proposed to go in, and it does match the staining of it. Is, this is also what's being replaced, and these are the sliding glass doors that they're replacing with French doors. And you can see here, this is all being proposed as a change, so they're replacing the siding here with a little bit more character. The brick existing is a natural tan brown, and they're proposing to paint that a gray. White. 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 Sorry. That's on the next. This gives you a little bit more close up image of what those proposals are. And you can also see here the roof is also being proposed as a change. The sections that will apply to this would be roof section A12478910, Exterior walls and trim, section 3B1, 2, and 4. Masonry would be section 3L4 and 7. Wood, section K6 and 7. Windows and doors, section C1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9, as well as 10, 12, and 13. Prior to uh, in addition to what we're submitting as evidence, we would also like to state that the exhibits that were on the agenda did not reflect the correct address and location. Those were amended Friday and changed, so the application is correct as it stands now with the exhibits. Thank you. Uh, does uh, any member of the commission have uh, questions for no, I have a question. Um, the uh, all the pictures show the left elevation. That's actually the front of the building. The drive, the garage faces Laurel Road, and that has to be considered the front of the property. Right. I thought so well, I'm not sure why we labeled it left. Well, when the house was built, that was not the case. And so the right side is actually the front entrance, and we are turning what faces Laurel Road into more of a front elevation. So when it was drawn and the architect, that's, that was the side of the house. Question of labeling. I, don't, I, we, I think we understand what you're trying to do. Thank you. And just to be clear, because I had the same question, on the drawing here on the right side where we're seeing a structure with three windows, that's the existing garage. That's and correct. That's, that's okay. correct. I had the same question, and, but I also thought I knew what you were trying to do. Well, then if I understand it right, you're pulling out the garage door and putting those three windows in. Is that correct? That's correct. And breaking up the whole front of that thing. That's correct. Now the side shows shutters. Are those windows on the front of the garage going to have shutters or not? No, and we're proposing that none of the windows have shutters. So you're removing the other shutters then as well? You have to say yes. You can't just nod correct. your head. I said correct. Yes. <laughs> so the house will have no shutters on it then when you're done. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I understood the question or you understood what was going on. Is there anything else that you would like to add in support of the application? Yeah, we're just really excited about it. We think that our, our street is beautiful and the home as it sits does not exactly fit in. So we just kind of want to make it blend in and look as pretty as the rest of the homes on the street. Uh, I'm told that uh, I... Thank you. Just a short question. Did I misunderstand you to say that they're painting the brick? The brick is proposed to be painted and it would be white. Just what white would that be? It is listed it's on the application. as a Benjamin Moore. Mm -hmm. but more to the point, is it compliant with the guidelines? 
Yes. I mean, one of the 150 colors of white and the approved <laughs> palette. Yes. And a none palette of which, that's that thick. None of which can be distinguished from the others as you drive by the house. <laughs> Uh, any other uh, questions of high commissioners of anybody? Uh, uh, you, uh, wait, wait, we, we, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get to you. We just want to make sure we're finished with the application. Oh. Just a minute. Just, just. Oh, <laughs> That's all right. We'll give you a chance. Don't worry. Uh, all right. I believe you indicated you had nothing further to say uh, in support of your application beyond what you just said, which was. Uh, uh, very articulate. Uh, am I correct? Okay. Uh, and commissioners have no further questions of the applicants at this time. Is that correct? Therefore, uh, if there is anyone else present uh, in the uh, hearing room who would like to be heard with respect to this application, you may now come forward and be sworn. And you can go back to your uh, chairs. Uh, please come forward. Uh, you can come to the table if you'd like. Uh, uh, raise your right hand. Uh, do you swear or affirm that the testimony you, you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Uh, please state your name for the record. I'm Steve Duncan, and I live at 25 Laurel, next door to the Blacks. And I just want to say we are thrilled that they're there. We're thrilled with the changes they're going to make. All the neighbors are just really happy, so I just wanted to say that. So let them know and let you guys know that uh, we hope you guys will approve their application. Thank you much. We appreciate you. your coming down here to make that statement. Uh, do any of the commissioners have any questions for this witness? No. All right. Thank you. Uh, I believe we have uh, completed the record in this case, unless there's somebody else who wants to be heard. I can do it again. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 35 Laurel Road is not consistent with the Historic District Guidelines, nevertheless is deemed congruous with the Pinehurst Historic District based on the testimony given, material submitted, and the findings of fact that <coughs> for the following reasons. The proposed of the new doors and installation of a new window, new roofing shingles, siding material, and painted brick appear to be compatible with and are within the guidelines of the historic district. This would appear to be compatible to the existing windows as well as compatible to others within the historic district. A second. Second. Discussion. Uh, hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. Aye. Yes. Eric, yes. Aye. Aye. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 35 Laurel Road. Second. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. John? Aye. Tom? Aye. Eric, yes? Aye. Aye. Congratulations, you have your certificate of, of appropriateness. I would add, as a former longtime neighbor of yours also, but not anymore, I would echo what Steve had to say. I think it's a neat house you've got, and, and your changes look really interesting. So, All right. Uh, the next uh, case uh, is 0 uh, involving 83 Short Road. Applicant present. Please come forward, raise your right hand, state your name, please. Mark Dean. Spell your last name. D-E-A-N. Thank you. Uh, I'm here from uh, representing Wayne Haddock, Pinehurst Homes. Uh, okay. uh, I have to swear you in first. Do you still standing? Oh, do, you, <laughs> do you swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Please be seated. Alexandria, will you present the case? The applicant and owner of this case is Natalie and Scott Hawkins. The location is 83 Short Road. It's zoned R10 residential. The changes the applicant is seeking to make are to enclose the existing patio, frame in a portion of the porched area, 
add a fireplace to that enclosure. This here, this map shows you a, uh, identifies the properties in the surrounding area that received a public hearing notice. And this is a better image that will show you exactly what they're trying to do. The area that they're proposing to screen in this port is in the back. The wall will match the adjacent material. The area of screened in porch addition with the fireplace is going to go right in this area. So you see how the existing patio there, this is the area they're trying to enclose to create a space as well as put that nice addition of a fireplace in. And that's what will be framed in. The roof that's being extended is a metal roof and the color is charcoal. It will match the existing. Somewhat there better imagery. Again, you can see that enclosure, the fireplace, and how this won't, it, it will complement the existing. Sorry. The sections that will apply to this request, roof section 3A1247, 8, 9, and 10. Exterior walls and trim, section 3B1, 2, 4, Addition and Accessory Building, Section 3I5 and 6. Chimney, Section 3F178. And one correction to make to this was that there was an incorrect name listed in the staff report and on the finding of facts. That has been changed in the application packet that you have now is corrected. Otherwise, staff would like to submit the staff report, presentation, application, materials, photo site plan, and finding of facts. Without objection, they shall be received into the record. Are there questions for staff regarding this case? Just one quick one. Am I correct that the proposed new screen porch will take up essentially all of what is now the external patio? Correct. Yep. That's what I, I just want to be sure. Thank you. Uh, one question. In the photograph on the right, uh, is the cat part of the application? <laughs> <laughs> is removal of a cat minor work? or <laughs> Not any cat that I ever knew. <laughs> the cat owns the place. All right, we, if there's nothing further from staff, uh, Mr. Dean, do you have anything you'd like to add in support of the application? Just that Natalie Hawkins has a, has a heck of a water problem, water getting into that corner, so this is going to mitigate that tremendously. Um, I think the, I really had no, um, it's a two on 12 roof pitch, so we pretty much had to go with metal. We couldn't use shingles at that point. And I think there's, there's a lot of precedent for this kind of metal roof in the historic area, you know, so I think that's appropriate. Also, the fireplace is a gas fireplace, so we don't need a chimney or anything like that. So basically, it's pr pretty straightforward, so. This is on the rear of the house, is that correct? Side of the house. Side, of side. you drive in and it's right, it's on your left. So the driveway goes on back and it's right, it's on the side. And all the materials are, it's just all shakes and be painted white and everything. Open rafter tails on the roof, you know, things, everything just to match the existing. So it's a wonderful little cottage, I love it. Uh, any questions for Mr. Dean? Can you give us a little detail on the metal roof particulars, the height and width of the seams? I do not have that, I do not have that information yet. I, I just drew this up, the elevations, and um, if Wayne was here, he'd be able to answer that for you. Um, I, I don't want to speak out until I know the information. I could, I don't know if it's going to be a standing seam or one of these kind of, you know, I'm sure it'll be appropriate to what is, you know, in the would rest you, of the... Would you be, be willing to categorically say that it will comply with the guidelines? Absolutely. You understand that that means that if on inspection it doesn't comply with the guidelines, they're going to have to come back here and ask us for... Wayne Haddock has a really long history, I believe, with doing projects, and I'm pretty sure... I'll, I'll make sure I verify that with him, but speaking as his representative, I would say yes, of course. Okay. But I'll mention it to Wayne to make sure that that gets covered. Understood. Understood. Any uh, other questions? So there is no chimney involved with this? Thing. No chimney, sir. No. Is the 
fireplace facing into the house or out to the? It, it faces um, to the left, looking at that long elevation. It faces um, into the long axis. It's, I'm, um, the Carolina room. OK, so the, so the front, if I look at the fire, I can look at it from the Carolina room or the screened edition. Is that Absolutely. Correct? That's exactly the whole point, right? Exactly. So, the, so uh, that it'll heat the edition. Yes, yes, exactly. That was my question. I'm surprised the plan is in here. I have a whole, they could have done the whole sheet. So, but, you're, you're oh, good. is it good? Okay, thank you. Um, any other questions for Mr. Dean? Just a question of since the fireplace is inside the enclosure, why are we concerned about it? Just a question. Just that there is no chimney about mm -hmm. which to debate. There is no chimney, that's all. Well, it's, a, it's in the enclosure. Right, I mean. It, So, but it's still inside. Chimney could be the issue is the only question. Is. If there were a chimney, it could be an issue. Right. But there's not one. That was what I was just trying to clarify, that there was no chimney. And exactly how it fit in there. Uh, <laughs> any other uh, questions for Mr. Dean? Uh, is there any member of the public who would like to come forward and be heard with respect to this application? Uh, hearing none, therefore the evidentiary hearing is concluded, uh, and it's time for the commissioners to deliberate. Uh, do we have uh, discussion, motion? I'd be prepared to make a motion. Have somebody other than Terry make a motion. Well, I just tried to front run him here. I didn't want him to sweep the categories. Um, I move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 83 Short Road congruous with the Pinehurst Historic District and consistent with historic district guidelines based on the testimony given, including the representation that the metal roof will be in compliance with guidelines uh, and the findings of fact. Second? Second. Discussion? Hearing none, I will roll the commissioners. John? Aye. 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 Eric, aye. 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 And I move that the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 83 Short Road. Second. Second. Sorry. Second. Oh, second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. John? Aye. Aye. Eric, aye. 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 Congratulations. You have the certificate of appropriateness. My first time doing this, so it's kind of kind of fun. Okay. We can That's change a good that. Day. Thank yeah. you. Make it harder. <laughs> we often do. All right. Uh, Sometimes unintentionally. <laughs> Road is the applicant present? Please come forward. Uh, raise your right hands, respectively. Please state your names for the record and spell your last name for the record. Catherine Pate, P-A-T-E. William Huckabee, H-U-C-K-A-B-E-E. -E. Each uh, swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you. Please be seated. Alexandria, would you like? Thank you. Applicant and owner of this case is Catherine Pate. You will see here on the screen it does say GIS owner as a different name. That is because the current deed that's posted on GIS through the recorder's office does indicate otherwise. However, Catherine was able to provide proof of ownership. The location is at 90 Linden Road, zoned R30 residential. We're proposing a two-story addition with, a new, with new roofing. The addition would utilize the same materials as the existing facade, with the exception of a change to the roofing material. The applicant has requested to add a dormer with windows to match the rear elevation and composite decking to the front addition. This is a map that shows you the property owners that received notice of public hearing. And these are the elevations of the proposed changes. 
In the existing, you can see how the current uh, architecture of the structure is going to come further out and change slightly with that addition. And here is that composite decking uh, that's being proposed as well as some of these roof pitches and the material and window. Now this does show you just the proposed elevation of one side of the home. There is no proposed elevation for the other as it's not being changed, but the house is symmetrical. So on the other side you have similar to this without the addition. And this here is the dormer that's being proposed. Again, this is the other side of that proposed addition, so you can see that it does match the existing material and that is intended to be carried out. This is the proposed roofing material and color. Although it is hard to see, it is a gray material. The Enviro Shake tiles, this is a little bit of information about those. They're designed to weather over the course of the first year of installation. So when they're put in, you'll notice that they do have a little bit more texture to them throughout the first year, and that is specifically designed for historic districts. The sections that apply to this, roofs section 3A, 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, and 10. Exterior walls and trim, section 3B, 1, 2, 5, windows and doors, section 3C1, 5, 7, 8, 12, porches and, entrance, porches, entrances and balconies, section 3G1, 3. At this time, staff would like to submit the following into record. Staff report, presentation, application, applicant material, photos, site plans, and finding of facts. Can I answer any questions? Questions for staff? Ah, let there be light. Uh, hearing none, uh, would the applicants like to add anything in support of the application? I would like to say that this is in keeping with the existing, and we're just trying to um, add a little more, you know, we have need a, a modern bathroom. So um, it does go over an existing patio, so it's in the same footprint of a patio existing. So. Uh, did you want to add anything? No, sir. Okay. Uh, any questions from the commissioners? Hearing none, I'd better uh, uh, admit the staff materials into the record uh, without uh, objection. Uh, the staff report, presentation, application, applicants, materials, photos, site plans, and findings, in fact, are admitted into the record. Actually, I did have one question for the applicants. Um, on the upper rear elevation I assume the reason the windows are shorter is that's a bathroom so it's just for it's privacy in a shower actually but on the lower level is there a reason why the windows are even though they're the same shape inside they're separated rather than together as elsewhere in the house we're planning to have a wet bar there we're going to make this a flex room so we wanted to put a you know an old bar inside there thank you uh, any other questions from commissioners is there any member of the public who would like to be heard on this uh, matter? Uh, hearing none, uh, that concludes the evidentiary portion of the hearing. Uh, is there discussion among the commissioners or is someone ready to make a motion? I'll make a motion. David? <laughs> I move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 90 Linden Road congruous with the Pinehurst Historic District and consistent with the Historic District guidelines based on the testimony given, the material submitted, and the findings of fact. Second. Second. <coughs> Second. Second. Secretary, any discussion? Uh, hearing none, we'll proceed to a vote. John? Aye. 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 Eric? Aye. 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 I move 
that the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 90 Linden Road. Second. 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 Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll proceed to poll the commissioners. John? Aye. Aye. Eric? Aye. 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 Congratulations, you have your certificate of appropriateness. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right, the next uh, case uh, is COA 2021-00113, 85 McIntyre Road. Is the applicant present? Please come forward. Would you uh, state your name for the record, please? Uh, I am Laurie Davis, actually Scott's partner and co-owner of the property. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Case? Yes, thank you. The applicant is Scott Lincoln. The owner is under Lifestyle Property Partner. The location is at 85 McIntyre Road. It's zoned R30, residential. And the applicant is proposing to replace the existing vinyl siding, replace the front door with a window, and relocate that door to the back side of the house. And as I understand it, that elevation was not included in your packet. Therefore, I would like to submit the following as an exhibit on record. And it is the elevation of the proposed door from the front being relocated to the back. This map will show you the properties that were identified for public hearing. <clears throat> and on the screen is the existing elevation and the proposed, as well as the proposed siding mat material color. So you'll notice here, this is the door in question. This will be removed and put on the rear of the home. And it'll be replaced then with a matching window of what is existing. They're wanting to change this vinyl horizontal siding to a proposed material that is more in line with character. The sections that apply are exterior walls and trim, section 3B1, 5, windows and doors, section 3C1, 4, 5, 7, 10. And at this time, I would like to submit the following into record our staff report, presentation, application, the applicant's material, as well as the added exhibit, photos, site plans, and finding of facts. Without objection, the proffered materials will be admitted into the record. Uh, any questions for staff about this application? Um, on the drawing, there is an indication of some proposed fencing, which I didn't see as part of the request and background. Point that out to me. I believe there was a separate application for that by the fencing company. Yes, that's correct. That wasn't submitted as part of this application. So will we see them separately? Plus it's minor work. We'll have to see work. them separately if it is a major, if it is classified as major work, which I believe it will be. This agenda. We're, we are not approving the fencing here today. Correct. Thank you. Questions for staff? Would you like to uh, add anything to support the application? Um, you know, we're trying to uh, improve the, the look of the property. The current siding is not really installed properly. And, um, you know, we have a contractor that's going to install this properly. and hopefully give the home a little more character that's in line with the village. Um, and also, you know, adding that window to the front really brings a little more balance to, to the look of the home. Thank you. Uh, any questions for the applicant? You are replacing vinyl siding with vinyl siding. You Correct. just hope properly installed. Correct. Any other questions? I have a, a kind of a question. We would, we would prefer not to replace vinyl with vinyl, but rather with something 
more in keeping with the guidelines. Would you be interested in that? Well, we are using a much higher end vinyl that has the more of the shake look to it. So, and we're, it's, it's a pretty expensive vinyl siding that I think some of the other homes that are very similar to this in the village have used. So. Second question. For your proposed window, the one that's replacing the door, it shows two shutters that match the other shutters but don't fit the windows. Would you be interested in revising the size of the shutters so they fit the windows? Do that if that was something that you something would Something we might want prefer. to discuss. Sure. Um, is it better to match the existing, which is incongruous, or to fit the window, which is congruous? <laughs> we'll talk about that. Thank you. But the existing don't fit either. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, but if we were to either recommend or direct such a change, you would uh, find it acceptable? Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if we're going to talk about it now, but if you take a look at the larger window in there, if you're going to make those shutters fit the window, then you're going to have half your front door covered. I guess I'm, I am don't know that there is a proposal to make any shutters. Whereas the others, in, in my mind, it wouldn't make sense to have one of them fit the window and one not, even though it's less congruous. <laughs> yes. I agree. <laughs> I think it looks better the way they have it proposed here than it would be to make one window with shutters to fit and the existing one leave it the same. Well, the change balances the front right. very well. Absolutely. I think it would look lopsided. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> it is harmonious, well, well if not congruous. Well-conceived change. Yeah, I agree. All right, any further questions for the applicant? Hearing none, is there anyone present uh, who would like to come forward and uh, speak with respect to this application? Uh, all right, seeing, seeing no volunteers, uh, the evidentiary record is closed, and we proceed to discussion. Does anyone... Uh, have anything to say, or does someone want to make a motion? I'll try to make a motion. All right, David, please proceed. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 85 McIntyre Road is not consistent with the historic guidelines insofar as the shutter width does not fit the windows. Nonetheless, it is deemed congruous with the Pinehurst Historic District. Based on the testimony given, the materials submitted, and the findings of fact, and because though the shutters don't fit the windows, they are more um, congruous with the rest of the house. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. John? Aye. Aye. Eric? Aye. 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 Move the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 85 McIntyre Road. Second. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. John. Aye. Tom. Aye. Eric. Aye. 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 Congratulations, you have your certificate of appropriateness. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Eric, I have a question for staff not related to this. Um, I noticed when I went to see this property that next door at 95 McIntyre, there is substantial construction work going. I don't recall having them come before me, but I don't claim to have perfect uh, recollection. Does anyone remember 95 McIntyre coming before us recently? I don't remember it. I won't swear that it didn't, but February. Very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, next case uh, is uh, COA. Uh, we just we just did McIntyre, right? COA twenty twenty one zero zero one one six involving twenty five Laurel Road.
Uh, is the applicant present? We've seen you before. <laughs> uh, please come forward and state your name for the record. I know you already have, but. Okay, my official name is Ernest Duncan, but I go by Steve. Okay. Uh, and uh, will you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Please be seated. All right. For this case, the applicant was Weatherguard Roofing, owner Ernest Duncan. The property is located at 25 Laurel Road. Zoning is R10 residential. And I'm going to go ahead and state a correction here. The COA number is 2021-0012. There are two applications open under this address. The major is 00112. The request before you today is the replacement of a roof with the same material, just a different color. This map will show you the properties that were given notice of the public hearing. This is the existing home. You can see here the roof that is in question is simply going from brown to a darker gray. The section that applies is roof section 3A1478. And that concludes our report. We'd like to submit the staff report presentation application applicant material finding in fact in the findings of fact. Without objection, the materials proffered are admitted into the record. Uh, any questions for staff? Uh, hearing none, the applicant may add anything that you wish to support the application. Uh, no, as you know, we had a hail storm in May, and the insurance company came, and they were going to replace the roof, so we just selected a different color. Uh, any questions for the applicant? Uh, you selected a different color because you like it better? Well, the old, the old roof was older, had discolored, and just didn't really match in the first place. So we just got something that matches a little better. Okay. Any, uh, any questions for the applicant? Uh, if not, thank you. Uh, is there anyone uh, present who would like to be heard on this uh, application? Seeing no volunteers. A quick question for staff. Is there any reason why this was listed in the um, not consistent, nevertheless, Congress? I, I'm, I'm not sworn in, but I, I can just provide a brief statement on that. It's because it is listed as a major work item, and then when you go to the, the replacement of roofs, it does say they should be um, compatible with the existing material and size, shape, and color. So it's supposed to replace like with like. Correct. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, if uh, there's no further evidence to be presented, uh, the record is closed and we proceed to deliberations. Uh, any discussion? Any motions? Uh, I move that the Historic Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 25 Laurel Road not consistent with historic district guidelines, nevertheless is deemed congruous with the Pinehurst Historic District based on the testimony given, the material submitted, and the findings of fact. Um, for the reason that uh, the roof color is being changed, although the material is the same. Uh, any discussion? Uh, hearing none, proceed to a vote. John? Aye. Tom? Aye. Eric, aye. Aye. David? Aye. I move that the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 25 Laurel Road uh, with no conditions. And, and there's a second. 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 Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, I'll poll the commissioners. John? Aye. Tom? Aye. Eric? Aye. Aye. David? Aye. Congratulations. You have your certificate of appropriateness. Thank you very much. One, is the applicant here? She's right back there. 
Would you mind reintroducing that one into the mic? It didn't pick you up. Oh, okay. Uh, we proceed to uh, COA 2021-00101. Uh, involving the property 87 Short Road. And the applicant has come forward. Would you uh, uh, raise your right hand and state your name for the record? Judy Davis. Swear or affirm that the testimony you will give in this proceeding is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. Right, Alexandria, would you like to present the case? The applicant and owner is Judy Davis. The property is located at 87 Short Road. It is zoned R10 residential. And the major review items that are being brought before you is the removal of one window in the floor plan. It's the rear window in the kitchen to increase their kitchen cabinets for an interior work. Changes on the site plan to add guest parking, specifically a driveway apron to be brick versus the existing of gravel changing the gray shed entrance to accommodate golf cart entry opposite of the garage and secure the rear entrance. This map will show you and identify the parcels that receive public hearing notice. And these are the changes, the elevation where you can see these changes. The window requested to be removed is right here. And that is for that interior renovation. This is what is existing and being proposed as a change to the shed. They would like to secure, this is, you can see the existing door. They would like to secure that with a new door as well as a rear entry. The sections that apply, exterior walls and trim, section 3B124, windows and doors, section 3C124, Additions and Accessory Buildings, Section 3, 1, 2, 5, and 6. Proffered materials without objection will be submitted into, will be admitted into the record. Questions for staff? Do we have any information at all about the doors that will... I guess the question is, am I missing something in my packet? No. So you you were inquiring about the rear door to the home? Oh no, the doors or that the are do it's labeled secure rear entrance, which has to do with the gray shed. My understanding is it's going to be covered, like with the match the exterior siding, but the applicant can provide further detail on that. Thank you. Um, initially, we'll probably just secure what's there so that you can't get in. Um, I, I, there, at this point, there's no plan to really just change that. I can't access that road because it really belongs to um, 85 Short Road. Is there anything, if I were standing outside the shed and I saw it after it got secured, what would I see that's different? Nothing. Um, any, well, uh, Ms. Davis, uh, is there anything you would like to add in support of the application? Sure. On the uh, earlier um, picture of the existing property, the rear, that's a part of the new addition. So it's not something that's existing. It, it, so it'll, it'll have the same siding that the rest of the addition has. Um, any questions for the applicant? Any further questions for the applicant? For anyone uh, in the room who wants to be heard on this case who's not been heard so far? No, I guess not. Uh, therefore, the evidentiary portion of this uh, hearing is closed, uh, and the commissioners may now deliberate or motion. It's got to be Terry's turn right now. I mean, sorry, Tom's turn. Yeah, Tom hasn't made, made a motion yet. You already got the hat trick, David. <laughs> 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 and we're doing this is 87 yes
I move that the Historical Preservation Commission find the proposed major work at 87 Short Road congruous with the Pinehurst Historical District and consistent with the Historical District guidelines based on the testimony given the materials submitted and the findings of fact. Second. Second. Second from David. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll poll the commissioners. John? Aye. Tom? Aye. Eric? Aye. Aye. David? Barry? Aye. Thank you. <laughs> I have a question in, in that regard, Eric. Why don't we just have a, an acclamation after we've all agreed to have a certificate of approval, after we've all agreed with the original motion, rather than poll the individuals? Uh, we could do that. Uh, it's just simpler. Is what it is simpler, except, you know, occasionally we have somebody who disagrees. With giving a certificate of appropriateness after they've approved the first motion? I don't think so. Theoretically, that's why we have two motions. Uh, but I don't like my, you see the logic of it, I, though. I think you made a good point at the beginning of this uh, hearing that we really don't need the two motions and we ought to combine them, and sometimes the staff has done that for us. And I think uh, Alex <laughs> indicated that that progress, but it seems to be going in that direction, and that would solve the problem. And would save us a few seconds. But in this year. case, I still have to make the second half of this thing. <laughs> I've not made that portion. That's of correct. Okay. I move the Historic Preservation Commission approve a certificate of appropriateness for the proposed major work at 87 Short Road with period. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, I will poll the commissioners. John. Aye. Tom. Aye. Eric. Aye. Aye. David. Aye. Congratulations, you have your certificate of appropriateness. Thank you very much. I'm just curious whether we will hear from both 83 and 87 in the future as we seem to have dueling COAs <laughs> and escalating <laughs> war of attrition here. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. So, that concludes the public hearing. May I have a motion to close the public hearing and return to the regular commission meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It passes. Uh, might, might we uh, make a, now that we're out of that, make a, re a formal request to the staff to give us a cheat sheet that's shorter and sweeter? The, the, you need to talk into the microphone. Oh, the mic. Could we formally ask you guys to to provide a cheat sheet for motions that's shorter and sweeter. Meaning to combine the two steps when possible. Because I was going to say, I like the, the, the sheet that we got this time because it delineates the two where they're proposed is laid out. Yeah. Just make it a single motion instead right. of the two-step motion. It, it was included in one of the parts, but not the whole system. Right. Right. Question under old business for uh, Alex. Could we get an answer from this down? Oh. Yes. Yes. Good. <laughs> there, there is a, uh, <clears throat> we approved some months ago a demolition at 90 McCaskill, and it doesn't appear that they're demolizing. They're modernizing the place right now. There's no demolition in place. Do you all know what's going on? I, we, don't, we don't have an update. Now, of course, the, you know, a COA is good for up to 365 days. And even after that, it can be extended to a certain time period. I, I mean, I'm not, what, what, we haven't been in contact with the property owner or contractor. If there's an issue in getting, you know, everyone's busy now, getting a contractor timely, appropriate to the site. I'm not sure. But what it looks like is I drive by that every day. They're utilizing the existing structure. They're not tearing it down. They're making improvements to it? That's what it appears. And, and yesterday, they put a, a giant blue tarp over the old structure. That's an improvement. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just saw yeah, that, that today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it just, it just seems okay. inconsistent with what we think is going to happen there. Well, okay. it, it's, it's, it's not only... Now, someone who gets a demolition permit doesn't have to demolish it if they change their minds. But they can't do work on it that right. hasn't been approved yeah, but that's, by that, I guess that's my point. It is a good question yes. to raise. However, it's outside the scope of what we have to deal with because that's purely a staff issue. 
Could, we could make a ruling on what color blue it is. <laughs> there, there is a lot of new brickwork around the existing build, the, the building, I, which doesn't make sense with the if they're going to tear the whole thing down. So. It, it sounds like it would be worth some member of staff taking a drive I, I by. Just, I'm not sure who should be asking the question. Are That's you why. are you saying that they're doing exterior improvements this time to include brick? <coughs> Pardon? Are you saying that they're doing exterior improvements at this time? It's hard to tell. Now, now you I can't see through the blue tarp. At 90 McCaskill, your recollection was a demolition COA was approved? Yes. Because I'm seeing an addition and remodel COA was approved. That's kind of what I remember. Too. We, actually, two major work COAs were issued by the commission, one in 2020 and one in March of this year. Um, and and they all involved either the addition and then changes, sound familiar, to the previously approved major COA. Okay. So I, I'm incorrect in that we approved the demolition? Just from what it appears from what I'm, I'm seeing here, Terry, on the, on the cover. Sorry. Good. Good. But nevertheless, you are to be commended for keeping your eyes open and bringing the... <laughs> I, I commend you in any event. Historical police. Uh, okay. Uh, Tom? I remember we are going to tear it down. One, I wanted... I Thank you, Terry. Good. Quote, and I'm not sure this is an appropriate title for this document, but a cheat sheet that we have with the, the motions on it, if we're going to combine them into one motion, is great. But I also absolutely like the, the idea of you putting, the, putting this additional information into that. I think that was an excellent idea, makes things go much smoother and, and do it. So I, that's, that's a very positive, I think, uh, step. Set a record. Whoever's numbers. Was yours? He set a record today. Good job, Eight. from my Eight. point of view, and I think I haven't heard anybody disagree with me. No. The I think thing, the proper term for a cheat sheet is motion. Motion, <laughs> motion format. We, we call them motion templates, but okay, template motion templates. I, I don't cheat care. Sheet works for me. We, we, we seem to pick up the term cheat sheet today, so we'll continue with that one in the, in the discussion. The other thing is, if there are um, additional views that go with the packages, I would like to see them put in there. There were some that were in our packages that weren't on the screen. And the reason I raise that is because if there's a question that we need to reference to a drawing or to an elevation, we ought to have that on the screen so that everybody can see it. So can I ask you a question? Because sure. this, this PowerPoint is over almost 100 slides, which is very large. Do you want me to identify every section that pertains in the PowerPoint, or are you will what is in your packet suffice as your reference? The latter. I, I, is. Well, yeah, I, major, I don't want every drawing in there, and that's not what I'm asking. I'm just talking about the elevations, because there were some elevations that we had in here that if we had come up with a question that would have referenced that elevation, I don't care about the other drawings. Those are fine in this part. But if there are elevation drawings where we might have a question directed at that elevation, all of the elevation drawings should be in there. And we, 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 we have the opportunity to pull those up. Any of the material that's been provided, we, we can pull them right up just like that. Okay, yeah. that's fine. And I can, I can I definitely... No putting them in there, with not putting them in there. I just didn't realize that that was the case. So that, because my only concern is, and didn't happen today, is that if there was an elevation that we had to reference, it's easier if we have it on the screens for everybody to understand what the question is, including the applicants and the owners. Yes, and anytime there's a question of that, you can always turn to us and we can pull that because I okay, have access to fine. all those documents. That, but I am curious solves if, my, my concern. if in the presentation, if all of those sections are something that you're interested in having in there. I, I have a comment about the new procedure that you're that you're streamlining things. I don't even think you need to read to all of us what sections are affected. You can simply refer to the ones that are in the staff report. As far as I'm concerned, we've all read them. We've got them in front of ourselves. I could say yeah, that. I, I, have no issue I tune out when you're doing that anyway. I don't blame you. <laughs> Yeah, I, and I suspect none of the applicants particularly care either. I, I, or understand really what, what she's saying in the first place. We, we can condense the staff presentation to just be the, the initial heading, what number it is, you know, zoning information, property data, applicant owner, and then we can go right into 
you know, illustrations you, explaining, pointing out. Yep. Yeah. I think, I think to, to me, think anyway. If you wanted to just reference it, say it's in the package, okay. is, is do it because they get that same package, correct? So they ref, they would have an app, they would have understand or have the right, the ability to understand what we're saying if we just say in accordance with the, the package presented. Absolutely, because in that case, I can easily reference everything and then put all the content in of the imagery, which is the more visual portion. But what I find particularly useful uh, are the visuals, uh, the drawings, the photographs, the mock-ups, and so forth. More uh, of that, less of the words. No. Well, I mean, I can, I, I, I can look in this document. I mean, it's, it, it, it's all there, right. and supposedly, if I've, if I've earned my salary, I've done that. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, so I just, more pictures, less words. I guess Deal. if you want a rule of thumb. Well, one other thing that, just, that would be helpful for me. We, we often, I'm not sure, occasionally get north, south, east, west mixed up um, and proposed an existing reversed and left and right. And if, if that would be something you might focus on a little more to make sure the labels are south, it really is south. Well, th that was actually prepared by the, the, the applicant's architect. So that, was, that wasn't anything that we... Oh, I understand, prepared. but when you're making a presentation, you might say on um, the front elevation, which is labeled south, it's actually southwest or north or whatever it is. Um, I suspect we will catch that, but I think it's a good recommendation. I'll do my best. I equally get my north, south, east, and west mixed up, so. I don't know what's hard to do. <laughs> and and I, I have always typically referred to it as front, left, right, rear, and, you know, you know, the other directional, you know, there's no st standard for, if it's located in the rear yard, I think it's saying it's a rear elevation. Or and that's what our guidelines is, talk is about. They don't talk about north, south, east, west. They talk about front, left, right there. That's why I was saying the elevations are probably the critical thing that we can see and that they're properly labeled would be, I think. Yeah, and I'll be sure that if the drawings say west that I identify if that is front, rear, side. Absolutely. Homestead made a major effort to make sure we can't do anything <laughs> yeah. straightforward. So. Amen. Uh, everyone, I assume, has uh, reviewed the uh, minor work staff approvals. Uh, if there's uh, nothing else to come before the commission, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned. Yeah, for that. <laughs> <laughs>